Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, we've learned now that there will be extended support for um, Windows 10 for security. One year offered by Microsoft. Um, I think Microsoft is not necessarily doing it right. I mean, if you have to offer it for free because you want people to turn on, you know, the backup syncing of your data, um, why not just give it away free and that's it. Uh, anyways, it's not like it cost them anything. They're already doing it for business. So the, um, actual, um, you know, extension doesn't cost anything for the consumer, but anyways, the way they, they want to do it. Um, a few, actually, I'm going to answer some of the questions that have been out there for the free, uh, update and also talk about zero patch and talk about the different, you know, uh, options available there. So first of all, uh, some of you have asked me where, what insider ring, you know, is getting the extension right now. Well, on this machine, I'm at the, uh, release preview. I'm at the lowest, uh, windows insider ring. So, uh, release preview, I had the question to ask if I wanted to uh, continue. Now, you might have noticed on my video that my when I, I clicked to go through the process, I didn't ask me what I wanted to choose. And the reason is I already sync my data to the cloud um, with my Microsoft account. So it probably did see that and just, you know, went through saying, well, oh, okay, you're already syncing data. So it's fine. Uh, in the case where you are not syncing your data with the backup app or anything, that's where you'll have choices. One is the um, the Microsoft points, these famous uh, Microsoft um, reward points that you might have or not. It depends on, uh, you see here, I've got rewards. It says 2,668 points. Uh, where do you get these rewards? Well, you used to get rewards using the browser, Microsoft Edge browser, and going through some of the Bing websites. And you could, you know, like, you know, answer quizzes and stuff like that, and they would actually give you uh, points every time you do something on their page. Uh, and so that's where I got my points. And, of course, you could have points in all, all sorts of uh, places, including the Xbox uh, and Xbox app and games and stuff. Uh, so a thousand points is actually very cheap price to pay for the extended one year as it doesn't really, you know, do like it isn't worth much basically. But if you have reward points, do uh, check the panel, the the main panel and your uh, settings app. And if you see you have more than a thousand report points, well, you're you can use that. Not no need to. Uh, no need to sync your data. You just use 1,000 points and you're in for a year. Of course, the $30 option is still there. I see people saying, well, you know, I'd rather pay 30 bucks than, um, than syncing my data. So they snoop on my data and blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't go there, but you know what? It's if that's where you are and if that makes you feel better, uh, that's, your, uh, that's your option. It is available there. Uh, for sure. So uh, once again, some of you said, well, I don't see it in my Windows um, when I, I check the Windows updates or anything. Yeah, because for regular folks, remember, uh, it's going to start rolling out with the next uh, optional updates. So basically what that means is that the July uh, update previews will be the one that will push this new option to Windows 10. So the bug fixing updates of July will push this. If you apply them in July, you might see it already. If you don't, if you wait for Patch Tuesday updates, then it will be with the Patch Tuesday of August. Um, pretty much everybody should see that they're offering you that option to, um, you know, use the extended security updates for one year. Now, uh, of course, some are asking what's the difference between zero patch and doing it with Microsoft. Well, one of the things that zero patch has as, uh, that is very positive um, is the fact that they have several years available. So if you use zero patch with zero patch, it's not just one year you'll get security updates. It's up until something like 2030, 2032. 
So you have the option to keep your Windows 10 more than one year with zero patch. You can do a mix of both. You can do the one year free if you want with Microsoft, then go into the zero patch updates afterwards. You can enroll in zero patch at any time. Um, some of you said, where well, you know, can I enroll at zero patch right now? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Uh, you can enroll with zero patch at any time now or wait until Windows 10 is at end of support or use the Microsoft one year for free and then go to zero patch uh, in 2026. So that's all um, available there. And uh, basically, um, that's the way it is. I see a lot of people angry saying, well, you know, Microsoft pushing into Microsoft account. Hey, they're all doing it. Apple, too. Uh, I don't I don't go there with the, uh, you know, conspiracy theories and the we shouldn't have an account. There's an account, all operating systems that um, are, you know, Mac or or uh, Windows or even Android and iOS. They, they all require you to have an account. It's the way it is today, and um, I personally don't see any problem with that, actually. I like having my Microsoft account for the syncing purposes ac across my devices. I think it uh, really, really works great. For the rest, whatever your beliefs, well, you choose whatever you want. You can uh, check it out, and uh, that's the way uh, you have uh, all of these options in front of you, um, either with you know paid, free, or zero patch the way that you uh, might want to go and like i said it's all going to happen uh that you have the choice uh mid-august will be available for everybody if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching